this room. My name is Star Ivy. And my name is Emma Bombo. You can call me your media girlfriend. And we have um, a beautiful sister. Our first yeah. guest. Ooh. <clears throat> and guess what? She's not just any girl, who, hmm. she is the relevant woman. Yes, ah, yes. She she is. Is. <laughs> So yes, please say hi. Hi everyone. guys, hi. Thank you for having me. Beautiful MM and Star Girl. Thank you so much. My name is Favor. Like, okay, you didn't say my name, right? No, no, no. Okay, my name is Favor Williams, the relevant woman. Yeah, basically. So why did why did you name yourself the relevant woman? Oh, okay. Funny story. Please. <laughs> Does that have to do with man? Uh, uh, um, you're wait, kind of actually. Okay, so my first, my first boyfriend, <laughs> like my first boyfriend, I thought we had one quarrel, and he said you are just a very useless person. Wow. Hey, and I cried. And I remember I had a, I had a mini frame in my room, and I wrote it, and then then I somehow I was praying, and I said I will never be useless in my life, and then I made a decision that I was going to be exceptionally relevant. He said like play, and then in school. I was just like, oh, I'm a relevant woman, relevant woman. I didn't even know it was going to be a thing. And then somehow, it kind of has affected how I live. So I have a notion that wherever I find myself, as a person, as a friend, sister, I must be exceptionally valuable to my people. I must try to be. And then that has helped me like build myself in different areas. So that when I meet you, you're not this girl no get sense. I mean, this girl is not just one worker pass. So I try to make sure that you will notice me. I think it comes. It's petty after a while, but now when you find God and God is not involved, now you're like, oh, okay, to so God, to okay. so family, and to so love ones. Okay, so we can we can actually say it is a guy who motivated you. Oh, um, yeah, it is. Actually. So you should give all glory to to man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually. Beautiful. Okay, so I heard that you were an entrepreneur, or oh, we learned that you were an entrepreneur. Yeah. So what part, what part have you dabbled into? Oh, um, more. I've played plenty of things, so I've sold Zobo when I was in school, and then that's when I started my final year actually. Then I decided to start learning how to sew, and then I've sold perfumes. I've done plenty of very basic things, but right now I am largely focused on fashion. I'm a fashion entrepreneur, and then I also own a startup called Our Market. And it was, I said that in school also when I was trying to sell my fashion product. And I wanted to like, okay, gather people to, you know, yard sale. Yeah. And then my friend was like, why do you eat for just fashion? Why don't you bring every other person? And I reached out to the SCG at that time. And then I said, okay, you know what? Let's get student entrepreneurs together. I was scared because of course in school, only popular people get to do events. And I was really like, so oh, uh, can I, who was the president then? Um, Hamza Latif, yes. We still talk up to that. school? FUT Mina. Okay, I yeah. wasn't thinking it was in New York. No, no, it's me now. And then since then, yeah, so basically I organize fairs for young creatives and entrepreneurs. We have ourselves come around, sell, we do shows, and then it has transcended also into hangouts where we come together and gist and tell our story. And then we also have the logistic franchise. But all of this is targeted for young creatives and entrepreneurs, basically. Yeah, so that's what I do. I wish you could actually stand up and spin for the camera because, my goodness, you're looking beautiful. And you went, out, you went all out on this fashion thing you get. And, like, okay, can I ask you a personal question? Sure. All right, so you feel comfortable, yeah. okay, the way you're dressed. Yeah. No no offense, no offense whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, especially on the road, these Igbaro guys, Wanibar, <laughs> those that's so um, they, will, they will make you feel so bad. So how, how, how do you deal with that? How do you feel when you walk past or something? Um, I think I'm used to it. And first of all, I have learned most of these people that come out and judge you by how you look. Um, when you find out what they do in the secret, you'll be like, oh yeah. my God. And it. honestly, I like fashion. And if I like it, I would wear it. I know I don't try to go overboard, but come on. It's big blazers and shirts, nothing <laughs> extra. Whatever you see now, you savvy. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I had a memory talking, so she was like, you know how when we females are always, we always get to struggle with um, sexual harassment, especially when we're going into business because we're yeah. females and then how people would want to bring us down and all this stuff. So we would like to talk about your challenges you get that's did you have any any of those experiences even from females yeah. as well 
Oh, yeah, females, yeah, certainly. But I think, okay, first of all, there's a stereotype that comes with looking a kind of way. Like, if you look a kind of way as a girl, they expect maybe you're on the show or yeah. you just. And then when you go, okay, I remember when I give you this story. So, when I was serving, I served here in Aqua Ibon, and then I wanted to start a fashion academy when I finished. And then I reached out to a friend of mine and I was like, okay, I should draft my proposal. He was going to introduce me to one politician. And then I wore suits. I prepared, I did everything that I went for this seat. I was shaking. And then he was sitting I and then I was like, good afternoon, sir. I'm like, oh you're welcome. I'm like, okay, so now he now said, calm down, calm down. I'm like, so what do you want to eat? And I said, no, no, so I'm fine. He's like, no, don't worry, don't worry. Then I ate. Then I was like, I want to start talking about it. I said, calm down, don't <laughs> worry. Calm down, don't Then rush. I'm cal- so I'm coming down. Two you know? <laughs> so other men came. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Then two other big girls, like you know those big aqua girls. Okay. And I'm like, and I was really very, very skinny. Like I was I was literally like, okay, I'm not supposed to be here. Then I just said, please, I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> and then he removed the IK. I said, okay, don't worry, I'm going to call you. On getting home, and then I meet the person who referred me to him. And I was like, ah, he now showed me a text. My friend said he really likes you. Ah. And like he didn't even listen to my proposal. Like I didn't even say Jack. So I'm beginning to learn that most of these men will act, they actually have the money, but you are a girl and, and it's they like they just yeah, so it's like yeah, you talk to my English show. Last last you go pull leg, I mean you go pull leg. I remember there's this man that has been following me, married man. And I'm like, so please let me make for your wife. Let me sew for your decision. You say no. You know I really and I'm like, no. I actually, I actually think that most politicians and big guys you get if you're if you're having a vision or something like that, do not they don't want to buy into that. They just want you to become vulnerable to them, like always asking them for something. So they can you maybe if you have like money on your own mm-hmm. and you want to maybe go out, you don't want them anymore. They feel you're challenging them. Yeah, so they want you to be there with them. And, but for you know here, there are men, I'm not joking in Abuja, like I have friends who have sugar daddies and they are very, very supportive. But I think for yeah, me, it is rare. Be, be, oh wait. no! It, uh, if you be, if you if you come to the north, you see that it's not. No, 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 sugar daddies, ba. You know how to take care of their babes. What do and you want? Also help you. In yes. Your business. In short, they like. Exactly. This. Please, can you connect me? To that? <laughs> <laughs> because I've been saying about that. What's this on that? I am manifesting sugar daddies this month, no, and no. I need one actually. I need no, I think for me, it's just um, what values and morals guide your actions. If not, if it's that, I just made a decision that that would be my. They don't get. No, I, I personally do not support that. Really, honestly, no matter how. Please, may I do support it? No. See, as much as the society as has accepted, <laughs> <laughs> no, as much as the society has accepted it, uh, it's something I'm totally against. If I, if you me, want I am for it. Though I'm not against <laughs> it. No, 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 no. For me, that's uh, I, I can't. Okay. So that's why, like the beginning of this, year, I said I'm going to hustle like a guy. So I kept all the girly stuff and entered the streets. Me, I want to hustle like a girl and a guy to also have a trigger that supports me. I'm a Okay, baby. See, MM decided that today eh, you're sure going to answer plenty questions. I don't know why she's never manifesting. Please, you're not saying them. You told ask. me she actually was in media, yeah? Yeah. Okay, but well, you didn't say it. You didn't say into media. So yeah. what part of media are you? In? Okay, content creation. I I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah, so I decided to start in content creation on entrepreneurship, hustle, That's struggle. Nice. I've actually gone through your profile. I really love it. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. and there was something. Wait, wait, wait. I screenshotted it. Where mm. is it? Where is okay, it? Okay, uh, I went. I went through. You sent me her profile. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I went through it, and then I saw this stuff. And I remember that I and Emim have spoken about this stuff before. And she and then she was like. Nah, I don't believe in second chances. You said, I believe we can change. Yeah. I believe people can change. Yeah. yeah, so that means like you are open to giving people a second chance. Um, like, that, like that guy that told you that you're useless. You're useless. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he no, comes no, back no, and he's like, no, no. I've changed. You said it to your home. No, that's not that's no. Some place okay, no, let me, let me. This, this is not this what happened. Why I posted this was because like, I was going through a phase in my life here yeah, and then I found Jordan Peterson. I don't know if you know him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, okay. Um, He's somebody, he's one of my mentors. So I started consuming a lot of his content. And like, it felt that like my life was scattered. And then what he tells you is start with fixing your room. Like wake up in the morning, keep your room clean. Then before I started all the big dreaming and all, and I diligently did that for three months, and I saw me change. My mom literally walked in, into my room and said, "Ah, 
Hey, we are not changing because you enter my closet, everything is arranged. And then I started to apply it into other things, and I realized that I really, really have changed. If you knew me two years ago, you know this is a totally different flavor. So that's the thing. You know when they say people don't used to change, people can't get better. Yeah, oh, people okay. do. So that's yes. what was actually for you. Yes, yes. yes. You cannot mm-hmm. be a for a relationship, but it doesn't mean that you guys should start dating. You can be friends. No, I can if my ex comes no, that back. that particular one. You can yeah. be friends that's with your like ex. Um, you think you can be no more good friends with no him? No more friends, just nah, I don't feel like you can be good friends with him because you still have it at the back of your mind. It still stinks. Exactly. Like, it's just but, you just this have guy to, said this thing to but me. But you still have to like talk to the person. Like my ass called me yesterday. I just had, like, got to know that he's serving in Kano State. Not like my SS kind of thing, because the relationship was not defined. Oh, okay. Yet. Situation shit. <laughs> I shouldn't have been in a relationship, but it's turning. Oh, you were dating. You were dating. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's an idea. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I'm still friends with my first, um, my second, um, but I really don't. I think it takes time. I don't rush it. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. I, I hate to be that bitter ex. Oh, so this, this being friends with ex, can it can it actually apply to when you're in a relationship presently? Can you be in a relationship and be friends with your ex? Oh my, I try not to be too close. Okay, like my no, you don't have to be too. Uh-huh, close. My fr- my first now, he actually did call me yesterday and said, "Hope you're fine." I dreamt about exactly, you. Exactly, just no uh-huh. one calling. But I keep my distance. Calls. But I wish them well. I I've learned not to talk ill about people I've dated. If you are talking yeah. ill about all your ex, let me say you said get you problem said because problem. why have you been dating well, all the Well, I don't house? know if I wish them well though. This, <laughs> is, this is Nollywood. This is Nollywood. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Because should be told, people change. People yeah. could just get better and maybe you are not just people part change, of it. People <laughs> I change, I feel you change, you mean. You, you, are this your, this your movie from what you left me, left my yo. Mm. I pray you change. Stick to Hallelujah. one person. <laughs> Stick to one person. That that I'm a thick girl. So just like <laughs> that, bro. Don't waste the one place. Why do you think, guys? Is that true? Is that a stereotype? No, it's a, no, it's, no that's a stereotype. That all do. All the guys. guys. They don't stay on place. Yes. They, they have money out. now, so they can't. I'm are. telling you, so they feel like they are. Even the ones that don't even have money, self too. Just because, just because they have that that title to their name. Because I'm putting on with the other son. No, that goes in Abuja. Wear shorts. And they go to, they're always going to the gym. They Bone go shots. To the gym. Uh-huh. Bone shot, yeah. They're always going to the gym. Then they come out with their butts over. Okay, so I want to ask a question. Like everybody yeah. is going into selling thrifts, okay. going to selling shoes, selling yeah. bags. Like almost every I can't have a contact right now for any time you're selling clothes and everything like that. So my sister actually posted on our WhatsApp about like Shit, now everybody go this <laughs> So me I'm not like some of them they even think of going into now they can't share to me. So what what advice would you give to me to create like a niche to do that is not like everybody? Everybody's now selling trip and the trip is not even trip that I can afford. Why why are we selling trip, trip of five thousand or anything? It got it expensive. It very got expensive when we started saying cheats from Okrika. Okrika, you just collect five hundred there now. But now I see that. I ever go to the funny thing is that those girls selling trip, they go to Yaba. I think there was a time we were on strike for like some years, like no not years, months. So I went to Yaba with my mom to buy stuff for myself. Then I saw girls so from Juni Park. I, no, I don't really know people in there like that. I saw three vendors in Juni Park buying stuff, putting inside sack bag, like big sack bag. Even and how much? You and how much? Yourself. How much was it? A thousand era, one five. Even in New York, there's there's this shop like boutique. Okay. Okay. I know the woman. You she she num she used to stay on the streets I lived before. I said I saw the lady at Udwaita. She was clothes. picking clothes. Exactly. <laughs> and these clothes, I checked her store before. It gets it was it was five thousand for five. What is it? What is it actually? Somebody should five hundred there. They would, they would oh, exist it and to look so expensive. I actually bought from a vendor in this video. So she posted. I saw these clothes, like it's supposed to be like a gown, a very fine gown. I couldn't show what she posted. That it can be. You can actually wear to go out with your guys or your girls, something like that. So I I like these clothes, and I. Wanted it. Okay. I paid for it. What I ordered. When, 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 <laughs> when, when the clothes came, when, when I when I got clothes and it was not it was not it exactly. I that clothes now I have to turn to like my bed clothes. I only wear to Made sleep. Come. Yeah, she is. Yeah, and I did not tell her for some time. And at some point, I was just going on Instagram and sponsored her. Now she came. I was like, I went to go and message her. 
that look at what you sold for me that last mm-hmm. time. This I was very angry. She was like, we are, I'm sorry. This I said, if you want to if you want to edit your pictures, don't lie that this thing. it was not giving at all. But I, but I actually bought from a friend a friend to me to someone that sells okay. like very affordable trips and it was really nice. Like I gave it to my sister. It's not even fit in my stomach more than we like fit it. So that's it. So um, okay, she asked the question. Okay. Yeah. So what advice are you giving to me? Okay, I want why, to go in, uh, why do you want to do trips actually? Why? No, I'm not going. I don't want to go. No, she wants trips. something like that. So, something different, not trips. Okay, Everybody's not going into trips. Okay, but you're still the fashion business. Yeah, something along that line. You think you can carry it? No, I'm not saying it as if I want to do it now. Maybe okay. in the future, future. Yes. Because, as, for example, that I can be selling provision in these streets. Like on these streets. Mm-hmm. Someone else is also opening a shop to sell provision to. This one is also selling. Yeah. So, um, I want, like, what can I do to make mine better than others? Stand out. Okay, I think, talking from how I have learned to my business, there are plenty tailors. There are plenty tailors. But I think what I have been able to do differently in my I, I don't have I, won't, I cannot lie to and say I have plenty of customers. I do not have plenty of customers, but I know my customers now. There was a time where I, I was looking for everybody, I want to sew for it. But now, not everybody. And that's because I have under, I've gone to understand the quality of my work and understanding that it goes beyond being a tailor to being a fashion designer. Now tailor is you know how to sew. Fashion designing goes now, you understand texture, fabric, yeah, what body types, what to fit this person and all. And because I have been able to acquire this knowledge, I have a niche. Like my friends now, most of the people that work with me, they don't choose their style. They're like, if I have an event, is it a wedding, is it a corporate event? They tell me and I'm like, okay, don't worry. And okay, I you know what? Yes, and I now send a mood board, okay, pick something and then I work it. And I won't lie to you. 80% of these people are always impressed. And coming back. Yes. So I think if you want to do that, our first of all advice is get education learn if you have to learn through experience do that if you have to find people who have already successfully done this learn intern intern in a fashion brand an excellent fashion business for like at least at least three months yeah get to see it trust me that's the best way to learn when you come out you're not like okay this is what i want to do this is what i don't want to do yeah so it's it's actually an advice i should not wake up woman and be like I need money, I need to make mm-hmm. money and start going to about to buy clothes mm-hmm. and start selling mm-hmm. telling your friends to repost your link. Those people are not entrepreneurs. When I say like that, I say what's because Shout you're posting on WhatsApp it does not make you an entrepreneur. Exactly. Entrepreneurship it doesn't mean, make you a CEO for goodness mm-hmm. sake. It doesn't. Like CEO of yeah, CEO on WhatsApp. CEO of <laughs> it, entrepreneurship <laughs> is work. <laughs> So, <laughs> so I'm not even before I started calling myself an entrepreneur, I won't lie. It took a lot of like you know this thing they call what's this word now? I'm trying to it's okay. Was, I'm trying to remember this word where you're you're feeling like you're not qualified for the name. Okay, it, like just like the way I'm feeling for someone to call me, the same feeling I have when you call me an influencer. Uh, hey, hey, and I'm like, oh, I no, feel yeah, yeah, I'm not there yet. It's okay, but, but I'm not learning. Oh my, yeah, I'm my friend will say start adopting that profile. That's it. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, but then again, it takes a lot of work. So when I see most of my friends who are just looking to entrepreneur, and I'm like, oh, you're not even reading. You don't even have an entrepreneur who is like a role model. Yeah. Like learning structure. But when you ask an average person, okay, what's your business model? They don't even know. And you say you're an entrepreneur, you don't know jack about structure, about managing your team. So I think you just about have to About spending. Learn. Spending your money. Money, too. management, and all. I'm still learning anyways. But <laughs> I think I know a little bit to teach, so. Yeah, so, are you actually going to go into fashion designing? Yeah, I actually wanted to then, like, after secondary school, I wanted to learn okay. fashion designing. My mom was like, it's going to take time, I should go to a computer school, which I don't even know if I've learned anything, <laughs> because right now, the only thing I know how to do was that period when you just went to secondary school, it's computer school, you're going to Exactly. Like, you're like, no, everybody, like, mm. go to computer but school. But the, the only thing I can boast of is typing very fast. That's it. How did you learn the something? one about graphics, like they shot for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they shot for me. Oh, but I know I did graphic design in school too. They shot for me, Taya. I, I cried. At some point, I did not go to school. I Are you saw, serious? Yeah. <laughs> my mom come up and well, do you go? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know myself. I don't learn anything. <laughs> like, pay school fees. <laughs> okay, so um, during during this period, your journey through your journey, yes. is there any um? Would I call it situation that has made you where well, I wanted to quit. quit? Oh, I wanted to quit last month. Ah, <laughs> serious, seriously. I mean, even looking up to you for motivation. Oh, I, I almost always always want to quit. It comes. I think it comes because first of all, you're in Nigeria. Nigeria will happen to you. Hmm. 
Please say it. Like, I, I wanted to get five weeks for a customer. Something that will cost me, let's say, cost of production, maybe 10k. Now it's 20k. And you have to charge the person. That's the thing. And the person will say, that's why I'm with financial. Yeah, that's why I'm with a financial like, issue. No, no, like, they won't understand. I say, how to they also have to be. So it's not like a price down. Person, yeah. So why do I have to spend this much on fashion now? Do you understand? And then aside the fact that, okay, my line of business, you deal with people with different personalities, and then you have to learn to like adjust to this person, adjust to this person. And sometimes, okay, I got scammed recently when I was trying to get some things for my fashion, and I'm like, oh my god, is the universe against me and all? So uh, it's challenging, but I like it. So, so like me, if I am very difficult to impress, <laughs> people like people you, I like have them. You. People yes. like you. Like my, I have an auntie. I don't sew for her. I made the last dress I made for her. I cross check this thing. This woman brought it and was checking the buttonhole. Then look at. I no, just I, knew I, that I, I don't not, always pay attention. <laughs> I said I'm not doing the game. The other time I wanted to make my hair in school, so I wanted to like patronize the junior college. My friend was like, I mean, me, I know you. <laughs> You feel toss this air, fine, nah, nah, nah. The one you when go you out, leave, uh, what say, you know, what it is. <laughs> so I was like, okay, it's true. Let me not lie, it's true. So I did not bother to like patronize out. So I will see many walks of her. It's very fine, it's very fine. So the, the person that sews my clothes, my clothes for me, she's my friend. She knows what I want. So we can talk about it from morning to night, morning to night. The next day we talk about it too. Just know what I want. So I will not come at it like that. I do not like it. My well, colleague has sold for me. Yeah. yeah. My my colleague, my classmate in like university has sold for me and I really love the clothes. Oh, no. I have that's sometimes when I spoil somebody's clothes, I'm like, God, is this my colleague? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what am I going Wait, to do? Oh, you actually had like I'm joking. I'll spoil the wedding dress. Ah! <laughs> wow. And, and the funny thing was the dress was not in Nigeria. My friend referred me. Like I've made for my friend. So it's not like you can go and buy it that, again. I cannot, it's not like I can go and adjust it or anything. Ah, so ah, they sent ah, measurement ah. and I had to. So they, I made the traditional and the white. Oh my. I was depressed. <laughs> but, but it came out very well, right? No, you, you didn't get it. You, did you do any adjustment no. to it? I, sp I, I spoiled that clothes. Did she actually tell you to refund the money? Oh no, she didn't. Ah, she's a very nice woman. I said, I know some people who have. You would have refunded. You would have refunded the money. You get, or you make the dress it's better. Eight, it was already. I think it was two days. But what I did to make up was I, I, I still had a measurement, so I made two extra dresses for her and then sent. Oh, yeah. So okay. basically, that's how I made up for it. And from that experience, ah, now I know better. So okay. I, I should come back to like patronize you again. Yes, my friend actually did refer me okay. to her. So. See, no matter what she has, because she does a good job, they will, they obviously still come. I think what so happened is the fact that I made two more dresses, okay. and because some of us, you could actually just let it go and like, I beg. Yeah. yeah. So in an attempt to maintain good relationship, so I think that's what's. No, there, there are just some customers that even after the old remedy, remedy, they will still they will just yeah. disappear. Yeah, but I think I just got lucky with that one. Yeah. Okay. Well, so since this show is basically all about rants, okay, I want to talk about something. Yeah. Something I saw on Instagram. Okay. That um, when I finally replied to the DM, have you seen oh, that trend? Okay. Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay. So I actually want to talk about that when I sent to you, where this lady when she finally replied her DM, mm -hmm. it was it was a man. Checking she went. Her. Yeah, it was a man checking her. She went to is it Lagos for the first time for IT. Okay. Something like that. So the guy went on a date with her. After the date, according to the story, that she was trying her best not to order so much food so that she won't consume much of the guy's money. Okay. So after the whole um, this thing, the date and everything, she she and the guy started vibing. The guy asked to be in a relationship with her, so she was like, no, let's get to know ourselves. Let's talk and get to know ourselves. So like, I want to know your opinion. Okay. So she was not like. Um, since she got comfortable with the guy, mm -hmm. and then she was like, Okay, since he's my friend, he's someone I could like call because she was at work. And she was like, She called the guy and was like, Please, could you help me order food? Mm -hmm. So he was not like, No, don't take me like every other guy. You, you can't <laughs> just think I am your food plug, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so she wasn't like, Okay, oh, sorry, you. I did not mean to. And now in her mind, she had already made up her mind not to talk to this guy again. Okay. Okay. Now the problem, we say, the guy started calling her okay. and she didn't want to pick the guy's call so he okay. used another person's number okay. to call her okay. and then she picked it now they say it's not the guy that okay. the guy's number she knows it's okay. another person's number so it, it was the guy 
and the guy was now saying why is it that you're not picking my call again and chancing her and chancing her so she was like oh that no vex so i don't want to do it again i don't want to do it again <laughs> this guy this guy was chatting her up i saw evidence of the chat okay. that he was sent a voice note threatening her saying don't let me find you if uh-huh. i find you you are going to regret it are you serious <laughs> yeah, I, I, somebody I, I, is not even dating you yet <laughs> yeah. flag. What, what would you do uh, see, suppose this was your situation, God forbid. Because exactly. I because I pity the girl though, because it's a city she just went to. How is she going to how would she know where the guy will not find her? And if he finds her, what will he eventually do? That's a threat to her life in gates. But if you mm-hmm. have something close to that similar to your business, I don't even business cards. Oh no, I haven't. And if I'm in a situation, God knows I will go to the police. Ha. Straight up. No, like she should actually. Because what you do, I know chop your money. First of all, from what she said, mm-hmm. the first date they had, she was trying to be considerate. Let me not be greedy. With the with the um the authorities actually think so. No, it depends what kind of security you are going to or more. I know yeah. you can uh, really, really mad. <laughs> I will find you. <laughs> They'll find you. And you if anything happen to me, you will die. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's true. Like, so die. supposing the girl I'm serious, if anything happens No, supposing the girl doesn't have money in court. It's not that's okay. I think I'm lucky when it comes to my family. I got to know that recently. We, I'm not from a rich, rich home. But you know people. Not I even know people. My family can be family when they want to be family. Like yes, can they can they beat me inside this house now? But if they hear a person beats me, yeah, 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 hey. Yeah. So I think there's a situation like this. I have an auntie that I know I can call. Who the hell is he? She, I know she knows people because this is. I feel like this is beyond just the I the like girl, you know, like me. Like you're treating oh, my life. Yes, yeah. exactly. So and world is crazy, right? Now. So I can't I won't take that for granted. I actually even report to an authority. Okay, first first of you offer for refund the money that you just Which gets your money. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Like, I think maybe because you maybe like, that's the problem. I don't know. How do you get no, refund? I'm, I'm, you I'm not refunding anything. You. You what happens to me? I'll yes. say that's time to you. No, know, what am I refunding? First of all, you asked me out on a date. And I think it's the problem with our generation now. Look, I'm yeah, not this, saying this is a date. Not, yeah, not yeah, it's not like I'm not saying date you are yes. in a relationship. I'm not saying we girls should go out being entitled here, yeah? but mm-hmm. if you have the decency to say favor, please, I won't take you out on a date. You should be able to afford what we are going to eat. Now, I know as a responsible human, I won't go greedy on whatever I'm ordering. Yeah, yeah. But you should not go back home and say now. So, so you're expecting me to pay for our food, whether we like it or not. The way God designed it, the man is the provider. Right. And you start from this period, the dating side. If you can't take care of me now, there's no chance that you will. So I think we need to get back to the root as to why we should date and what marriage is really about. If we get that right, I think we won't be having all this petty petty problem. But most guys are listening to the wrong people as to what. Oh my, when I well, say I like possessiveness, this one past possessiveness. No, 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 Get. Yeah, I feel like you should have something. No, if it's that kind of thing, I go out to show you. Yeah, I just say you I am, I'm a very lucky person when it comes to knowing people that you can actually call right. Like, maybe you're in a situation that please, can I just listen to? So if I go out with a guy, and maybe I order something, and the guy is like, maybe you're ordering too much or the rest, I will offer to at least pay something from it. To get all. You know what I used to this, do? I'll carry my card. I, I did this. Card. I did this night. Even a habit. I said, Apple again. I'm sorry, but please, what is your budget? I ask and then I tell you what I'm asking so that you will not say I'm you, greedy. You, you came my age. Exactly. Came if money, I'm going out with the guy, I do not I do not order so what yes. I want. I used to ask so. I'll, I'll tell him, let's go with what you want. I said, but what's your so budget? So you give him the um, so if he says, order food for you. Yes. What so is going to be what? what he gets, like what he feels he can afford. That's exactly. What yeah. for you. To avoid yes. so I just I just ask what's your budget. I'm like, I oh, don't worry, eat whatever. I say, Are you sure? But I always have my money in my because okay, like, this has happened to me. Ha, ah, what called boys? So this guy, <laughs> he met me on. Ha, how about in his bio? He has <laughs> ambassador, kiniko, kiniko. He he now sent me. He's, we started chatting now, and then he said he's coming to Abuja for work. And I'm like, oh, okay, and I'm excited. If you know me, I like to meet new people and all of those things. And then um, he now said, okay, they have a presentation to do to one. Or guy, or guy like in Abuja, they would like me. He would like me to come with them. They were two guys actually, and then I'm like, okay, no problem. So I decided I should come and meet them in the hotel where they were. I was, I said, okay, what should I wear? I, I was looking all gang gang, and then I got to the hotel, I was sitting at the reception, and he said, oh, sorry, the guy said the meeting has to be tomorrow. 
Then like, okay, I'm like, oh, okay. Then like, okay, let's just just hand now. Since I'm, I'm like, okay, no problem. So I, we went somewhere. They didn't, we couldn't get what we wanted. We had to go somewhere else. We got there. They were like, ah. I showed them the menu. Now Abuja can be quite pricey, so yeah. you guys know where you yeah. want to go. If you want to go the local one, I feel carry you good there. If you want to go bush, I can go there too. And then because of the way he has packaged himself, it was like he had money, and me, I didn't want to take him to Mama Food, so I took him to a place that I knew that okay, they can be pricey. But then he was like, oh, they don't like he doesn't they don't like the food on the menu. Then there was a restaurant opposite. I'm like, okay, let's go there. Good that day. there they will have. And then this time I'm hungry. And then like, during our conversation, now I'm like, oh, sorry, I don't sleep out. My parents will let me. I could see the demeanor change because they were hoping they don't see Abuja girl go stay no. out for a while. Yeah. Night. Mm-hmm. And then we got into the food. Mm-hmm. I, we got into the restaurant. I cried the menu. I was hungry. I ordered white soup. No, fisherman soup and semo. I said, okay, they should order. Then his friend, the way I was sitting, this is how I was sitting. The friend I said, oh, he's coming. <laughs> I'm not joking. This is this is how real life. I'm not joking. Yeah, anyway. Wait, calm down. Don't rush this juice. The guy, his friend said he's coming. Yeah. I said okay. Somehow I really, like I could sense this was happening. Yeah. Then he now said he's coming too. So I started uh-huh. laughing. Like he said, I, he said he's coming. I started laughing. I just called him. I'm like, please, how much is my bill? And then I paid. That is the end. I've never seen them till today. What the hell? I'm not joking. <laughs> Whoa! Like, so, just because I'm just reading on, on Instagram. I'm not joking. Just, just because you said you don't sleep out. I, I think that was why. So, <laughs> it's, were they actually planning on sharing one girl? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, not I'm, I'm not joking. Like, hey, I could not even just my sisters because they would have me. That story, I think they will hear about it now if they watch this because <laughs> me, me, my sisters will finish you. Yeah, we tell them. Oh, you don't know my sisters. I'll tell they will them. mock me for one year. That's so she dress up. <laughs> Not my sisters, I my really friends. Funny thing. It was late, and then I had to book boat. And this is where oh, my dad day was bad. In the middle of the road, the car just stopped. I said, Oga, what happened? He said, calm down. My mother like, calm down. They kidnapped me. <laughs> then exactly. inside, the owner of the car locked it. I said, ah, Jesus ah. Christ. I'm not like, to inside. locked the car. Apparently, he's not supposed to move when it's past 10.30. And he was still driving. And then, I'm not like, so why are you online? Why, why did you why accept my head? I said panicking because where we stopped, there was people were not passing, and then I tried booking again. There was no right. Then I said I should wait, let him book for me. Then when he booked, he now got. I'm like, hey, we're going to do nothing today. We are not flying. <laughs> See, when the car came, I had I now settled in my mind that I'm dying today. <laughs> like I just said, okay, because what do you want to do? I can't fight two men. Nobody will come out here with me to save me. Yeah. Well, and I entered the car. I was shaking till mm. I got to my gates. I, I, you're praying. I, t- I, 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 I have a scenario like that. I think I went to Kilimanjaro to eat food. So this man saw me there. I was like, I'll put on a short dress, you know. Mm. Get. So this one was like three legs <laughs> and skin. <laughs> so then I was like, um, can you pay for my food? Uh, you know, he bought bread for his family. Okay. Get. If I should, if I can pay for it, or like the money I have, I don't think is enough for the two of us, mm-hmm. like that. So I had to like go to my other bank and transfer, transfer extra money to it, and I paid for the two of us. So maybe it was like a shock to him that a girl in New York can actually afford to pay for you and pay for himself too. So he, so his other friend like asked for my number. Oh, that could no problem. I gave him my number. Then the man went out to you know to the to his house to drop the stuff to bought and he came back to Kilimanjaro. Like, I used to there. I said yes I'm there because I was eating my friend. I wasn't waiting for my friend to call me so we'll go out together. So since my friend was not calling then so I decided to just like wait for a bit. Then the man called me. I was like, okay, let's go out. Have you gone to the place? Okay, no, let's just go out. I thought maybe just a normal ride, a maybe Twitter carry. <laughs> but like when they came in for best, like I was so uncomfortable. Inside that best. <laughs> Why? No, this is for ritual. Exactly. Now, people, <laughs> man, for you guys, you were hearing the strong all and Arab mm-hmm. accent. I enjoy all all the work concern was business, money. I was like, I was telling my girls that guy, I beg, if I just call and flash my message, they're gonna come, come me back. back. <laughs> so we went out, we were just talking, talking. So you order for a wife for me now. Then no, I was putting on a short clothes. Then find that the man just places and on my oh, yeah. stop. Do you know the kind what do you my wife like is me? me. <laughs> or like she said my body was like, Hi, oh, you don't like it. I said no something like I don't know. Why are you behaving like a child? I didn't get it. I said I want a big girl though. But at some point I, I was really waiting. 
then my friend eventually called me. I was like very happy that he did. Then I just like, oh, I have to go out. This, this, this. So I left now. Then I was for a boat ride now. The car was not the normal kind of ride you use. It was a jeep that came to carry okay. me. You know, in your mind now, these people have collaborated. Something like that. And the man, the man was giving this serial killer kind of vibe. <laughs> you get when I entered the ride. I also tested my friend that guy, I don't enter this kind of place and I will need you guys to like call me and get. So I entered, the man was I wasn't I wasn't comfortable. So as I was looking, I was looking at him sideways to get. Every time I find the man looking at me, I was like, is it that this man knows me or this thing? I was not sitting well in the car, I was sitting like this. <laughs> so the man was not looking at me, looking at me. I was not asking him. So is there any problem? He said, no, 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 everything is fine. I said, why do you keep on looking at me? Like, I look like his daughter. <laughs> so <laughs> me, I was like, whether the girl has died. I got you, whether the kidnapper. <laughs> like, I'm not looking at me. Me, me I was like, even if you're picking, how you go carry your picking for a boat? You know, go the question. He said, I look like his daughter. His name is Queen, and she's in uni. I was like, sir, it's not me. <laughs> I am not Queen. <laughs> queen is not me. Do you know, I never get to my destination. Well, I was almost close to where I was going to. I don't know I was going down this place. I trekked to where I was going to. Yeah, she was because you were scared. I was very And the point was that um, this court guys were having issues too that same night. Huh. So I was. Oh, it was a night. Yes. I was standing on the road. I was very scared. And I was standing with this, like, a. a the like street guy, so if you're like, you come down, nowhere I'm there with you. So I have to like wait till my friend came to pick me up. Like, I was very scared. Yeah, I, started, ah. like, I got home, I was humble. Like, and then the fact that I couldn't tell my sisters, because if I do, they will mock me for the rest of my life. And I have to be like, I feel like, thank God, like, what, what, what will I tell my parents? Like, okay, what will my sister tell what my family? You, that you, I you know to? what? You know why this is like this? I feel if it is in a foreign country, yeah. People would have I f is what I feel. Okay. People would not have this kind of mentality. Like I don't know. I feel it's that I feel it's just because it's Nigeria itself. No, it's like mentality there. exactly. That um if someone should come to help you, probably yeah. probably pick you up okay. at night or or even even holding a car to stop. Yeah. At night, or help me, help me, please drop me out here. They'll be like, No, these people are planning me, or they want to kidnap okay, me. Yes, those are all insecurity in Nigeria. Exactly. You don't blame us. That's what that's why I feel it is. But, but if it's the daytime, I don't think I actually feel that fear. Or something. Oh, I did though. There's this, that was like, there's this time I walked past um, a man, sto a man stopped. I am my friend. I will not say it's not for you, start you kill me here. No, say so it now. He's, he, he's here. He was he was hyping us away. Oh my god, he's from Hausa and that a Hausa, a man and a, a guy and a girl will not hold hands and walk like this on the road. This and that, this and that. He likes us, we look so inspiring. Uh -uh. And that he would want to hang out hang out with us. Uh -huh. That we should call him. He gave he started talking about everything, everything from work to this, how his wife is in America, how his children are so grown up. He loves his wife so much. This and that and that and I okay, 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 okay. He was going on and on and then he was not like, we should hang out. You know, my friends just ordered fishes. Very big fishes. We should hang out. You should we, you should come along. We should just sit just talk. I'm a very free man. Okay, in my mind I was not like all those plenty details were just I don't time. understand. <laughs> but first face, why will a man want to invite a man and a woman to go and sit out with them? Okay. But maybe, okay. oh, maybe he's also looking for friends. Maybe he had pure intentions, but I did not see it as pure intentions. So. <laughs> there must be something going on because how can you exactly like, that you like men or you like men and women? women. <laughs> like yeah, sexual uh, and uh, so uh, I I don't think know. I should not know, but yeah, maybe, that's maybe that's wanted to try it with some I missed out. <laughs> don't do that. It could be like I missed out on, a, on a, an opportunity. No, I don't, I don't know. It could be that I missed out on a kidnap. Yeah. yeah. Only, God <laughs> Only God knows. Only God knows. There was a time I was returning from church. I think it was my year two. So I was like watching church close by. Mm -hmm. So I was just standing on the road looking for Keke to go home. Then this, um, I, I don't know whether it's a jeep, but a very clean car. No, there was still nylon. Like on the, on on the, the seats. Car. Yes, just like a new ride. Right. But I was like, are you going, baby? Let me take you. Hmm. So the guy actually was like from the side mirror now. I knew he was coming to my direction. I was like, God, Keke should just come fast. And there was no Keke coming. So I was like, do you want me to take you away? I'm like, no, sir, thank you, no, sir, thank you. So when I posted, my friend, like, I mean, if you just enter, I was like, what's it called, Kimiko? <laughs> Or they don't have a or, or, or this stuff that was showing you that time. So they put jazz on that shade, you still don't, they, they, they don't carry your destiny. Exactly. 
Sure. So I, I think an experience. I went on my birthday. A friend took me out like on a birthday dinner. So I wasn't having like the guy I always used for boats was not responding to his call. So I was like, can you just book me a ride? Then he did. The man was like advising me, you know this people that kind of stuff. It's your birthday. Do not have sex on your birthday. Oh, do and go back to the house. Oh, then the following day, this guy just called me. I was like, he eh, okay. carried um, two guys that are new in town. That he like he wants me. They were like asking if he knows people that can like show them around. This day. then I wasn't asking the man if I had told him that I was studying tourism in school. They like, asking the man show guy that I do not have any yeah. idea about. If memory had a receipt, you you're just meeting those guys for the first time. They want me to hang out with them like, throughout the day. We're like, no, they're going to pay you money. And then I said, nah, she not woke up. I just had to woke up. We're like, you hear after that, they're like, eh, hey, can we just like go and crash? Let's take some drinks and that's it. I told the man, no, 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 no. You should not try it again. I I told, I cleared him that day. I said, please, this should not happen again. Don't invite me. What we had was just a business transaction. Me and you drop me, I pay your money, you go. <laughs> you don't have any right to call my number except I'm the one calling you for any I, business. I, I think that this is the thing about stereotyping. Like I said, when you look a certain kind of way, people just assume. No, I was not dressing very well. I was dressing very well. Maybe because I was just talking to him like, like I, when I said, no, it doesn't really matter. So he's. Is the person itself? It depends on the person. Yes, person. It depends on that, that man himself. Exactly. If it's someone that is an actual the person that just likes to because get someone somebody posted on Twitter, yeah, Twitter that she ordered for a boat ride mm -hmm. and she was putting on a short dress and the man immediately saw the girl and had a boner. <laughs> like the girl really snapped the the. Oh the my thing god! Why did she even do that? <laughs> um, <laughs> Why did she do that? Actually, if, I, if I'm on, if I'm in someone's car and I do not know you, like I'm order, I order the ride. Yeah. I do like make the atmosphere comfortable for everybody. I just want to talk to you so that you talk to me, so that you don't come and kidnap me. <laughs> and least you know that I talk to you and laugh with you. Okay, so you are changing your mask. <laughs> yes, I'm making my kidnap as you. So that's it. So, so. Well, it was really exciting to have you on the show. It was, it was really exciting. Very exciting. I just want to ask a question. Okay, please. Yeah, question. So I wanted to ask, what business advice have you like gotten from anybody throughout the year? I was business so, advice you like to give to people. Yeah. What strategy has worked for you? The things you have to like let go. Begin. Like this one now, Shady is our business. Now tell us so we would be able to, oh, you know, yes, to apply it oh, yeah. to sisters' rants. Oh, okay. Are we entrepreneurs? Yeah, you are. Actually. We are selling ourselves. So, yeah, yes. that's great. This is a, this is a service you're offering now. Consistency. Mm, yeah. Basically, consistency. I think that's one of the things that they always tell me. And then um, build your network as an entrepreneur. Ivy, have you heard? Tell her. <laughs> Intentionally build your network. Inten <laughs> Keyword, intentionally. <laughs> yes, and that was like one of my goals this year. Like, aside, okay, I want to make this amount of money. I said I was going to intentionally build my network. And you do that by, first of all, being valuable. Because yeah. one of the best ways to get access to key people is how, what problems can you solve? It might not be, it, it doesn't have to be, okay, like a fashion, I must not so close for everybody, but there yeah. are other things that I can do. So yes, if I'm going to tell anybody anything, be consistent and build your network. Build your yeah, network. a lot of other advices, but um, if you can apply this, I think it's take you somewhere. Yeah, it's like build your social network. I'm yeah. always, always emphasizing on building network. Yeah, it's important. Now, person will know you will refer you to person. People exactly. buy from people they yes. know. Yes. And from the, people the they like. that even if I emphasize on this thing, if I do go out like this, I barely socialize with people. I guess. I just know that when I go to an event, I almost like almost half of everybody there. Okay, yeah, and the funny, the funny thing is that I don't like public, public, um, public oh jeez, <laughs> no, English is hard. <laughs> I was asking my, myself that much, but people actually do know me. They know yes. you because of the things you mm -hmm. did in school, you got involved in, in school. Aside that, when did I start getting involved in school? So and I was a friend, friend, those people, people now yeah, yeah, push me to you. you. Okay, the best, I feel like, when, because for introverts, not like, I'm not good somewhere, I mean, no, I was, always using, I was always using my face. acts of service. I was always using my Facebook very well. Then it was not like I do post a lot, like write up. So most people actually know me as someone that post different things as this bitter feminist on Facebook, just come and say something and go offline for people to just talk about. Then if my friends are having issues on Facebook with somebody, 
maybe all the feminists in talk like you just call me and come and put me at but you know that's just... totally different from actually being in network yeah like, yeah yeah, yeah. Just like, like the whole idea of if you, if you are an entrepreneur you genuinely want to have so people. for instance for instance okay you are <clears throat> Okay, you're into media, like a person is into media now. Yeah. And then the person, do you think that a person can build their network while having strict parents living in their parents' houses? Yes. You feel? I know. <laughs> this you are is valuable. This is this question. No, this is not This is an anonymous question. No, this is. Like, you know, this is like, you know, already sold yourself. No, no, sure. This is how it works. Um, I'm learning, yeah. I want to build my network. The trick is to be valuable, right? So, and I'm not, my parents will not let me do all of the going out by 10 o'clock, by 10 o'clock, but I go out by one. I go out in the morning, right? And I'm like, okay, I meet somebody. I can't, okay. I would like to. Like, 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 no, for instance, you get past, um, um, some things like entertainment stuff, yeah. you get, happen mostly in the evening, even yeah. early into the night. Yeah. And so now, supposing you want to host the red carpet, okay. eh, you have to be there in the events now. So how do you work with that? Well, that, that's probably like that's still a way of building your network now. Because yes. from there, other people are going to get. Of course, that's, to that's yeah. what you do. Uh-huh. I think that's one of the challenges we have with our parents. If your parent, you, your parent, I don't know. I, again, I think I'm lucky. I think they'll maybe buy into the idea. Yeah, yeah, after like, a while, I haven't because, gone out. I, I don't go out to Lagos. And then after a while, you might mm-hmm. just have to be the black sheep. I was at the point, trust me. Of course. That thing. So, but that thing is very it's scary. It's scary, it's scary it's because it's what it's if you know work? You go work eventually. No, some things know they work. Let us know later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You call it a regretter. So Why didn't I listen? Me, I have said it that if anything takes me back to Lagos, I'm not staying with my parents. I'm okay. not going to my parents because. My friend was saying that I mean, you where you say you won't go fully into media, she your mom would allow you to come out for house. The fact that out. you wouldn't want to serve in Lagos, are you sure you would not have issues with your parents? Like say you want to stay on your own. No, why why? I, 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 I don't wish to carry man come if I'm no, carry no, but, but then they always like this um um would I call it aquabum? I don't know. But but since I say in aquabum, I feel like they are they always like um female children are not it's not proper for them to go no. out and have a house of their own even in my family so actually that's like they were like oh no but now they understand that See, okay. let, me, let me just let me just say sorry for cutting you me i don't already talk and say i'm i will be the black the black person <laughs> you'll be at the anger at the other day the, 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 oh, oh, the, 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 the is a black sheep it's okay. always the second daughters oh, let me okay. say, they are them they are them they are them they are them there's this girl trending on twitter that she made she did makeup on her face. She has always been the yes mommy and yes daddy kind of girl. Mm-hmm. And it was now time for a wedding. Her parents did not like the makeup. She had to carry her face like mm-hmm. that for the wedding. And she was crying. Yeah. Wait, mm, is that that stuff I saw? That's I, I think she the actually parent, did the makeup. I think if, she, if it's the one I, I know. She, she did not. She was her crying. Her event did not go as planned. Rain fell pe- and everything. She did not do makeup. No, she, she no, she was putting on a white dress. She had to clean the makeup because uh-uh. her parents said she should not want her to do a makeup. Yeah, hey, now they're mm-hmm. waiting. Exactly. You, know, I feel you have been doing a mommy and daddy kind of girl. Omo, if it, there's a, you will know when it's time to go. I think life happens, and you know that Omo, this is time for me to start taking my own path. No, if, 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 if your family will not always support you, that's exactly the truth. yes. But you have to make a decision. That, okay. It's okay for me. You, to... you have to make them see that you but are this is, actually. This is my good. life and this is my career right now, and I have to do it the way <laughs> I want to, and not the way they want to. Right. So it is. I think I am. This advice is to me myself. I'm, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, to, I'm going to take this advice, and I'm going to because that's so your body. I told the last time. I don't already drained my hair. <laughs> Pierce my nose. Oh. But then I actually pierced my nose so but then they were like, What is this? This is not what you're so supposed you to be doing. Now, now, when I made did my first piece in my ear, so I was actually thinking my parents were going to like shout, you know that kind of thing. When I went to Lagos, I was trying every means to avoid them seeing my mommy, yeah. mommy saw it, my dad saw it, they didn't say anything. My mom like, was on my, my sister. I was like, me, that's when I knew is... that I was a full blown adult. No, my sister told me this is a Christian home <laughs> and there is nobody that has ever done this before. <laughs> you cannot do it. I have you see, I go to the market and I see people, I'm like, Mboxidum, what is this one? And then she's not like, then I remember I have somebody in the house that has oh done this no <laughs> Wow. So that I have to take it out though. They want they sternly warned me and I took it out. I took it out. See, I don't have person anymore. 
ear. Yeah. But I the second it. ear though. You don't have. No, I do. I have the second ear. They talk now. They talk. Waiting. This one is ear. Yeah. It's not like it's on my nose. Now. Okay. Your, your family do just discuss <laughs> <laughs> because I'm okay, here. I don't know about doing my nose, but our last one. She did it. She is the goat of all goats. <laughs> <laughs> she is the goat. Like she actually dyed her hair first with a different color. She came to the house. Me, I cannot think of doing it. Even when I dyed my I, hair black. I dyed my hair. I dyed my hair. My sister was like, what's my, my sister has, my sister right? has on her nose right now. Oh my god. I think our parents, most, one of, well. No, she, cause she, I think because she's the last one. Our parents. It doesn't matter. Our, our parents the last this one. journey. Now because no one be last one. No, I be last one, I beg. Our parents but you know what be last one actually now? You know what they do last one they do? Now, last one, they always, they come. Heal. Which come? No. Yeah, are you the last one? Really? No, I'm not. Are you serious? But our last one always come. My last one is not calm. Oh, my God. I'm going to be fucked up. At the end of the day, I feel our parents do this genuinely out of love. But then their perception towards life is influenced by how they have lived. Lived, And then I've been opportunity again to try to listen, see why they are saying what they are saying. And if I have the opportunity to tell them, okay, this is what I'm doing. Okay, like, now my mom trusts me a lot. You can send, you can post a video of me now. Nude. My mother will tell you it's not feeble till we have a conversation. So after a while, you you will build your track record, and that will just let you do you. Like, like when I see my daddy, I, I they've seen the result of the things you've done. Yeah. So. But then when I do my daddy, I said something like this, yeah. and saw my clothes first. I was like, and you told me you should. Yes. Be. That it did not like for that part of my body was exposed, showing. and I should always I should be like the other person. I should come learn from me. <laughs> I'm do this one. Learn from me. Learn from me. No. I should do this one. Yeah. No. no <laughs> <laughs> it's not this <laughs> Oh, thank you so much thank for so much watching. For coming. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for making this fun. And thank you. And thank you for the vibes. It's giving. I know, right? <laughs> it's giving. Thank What's you. What's the giving, please? Whatever it's giving. <laughs> it's giving family, right? It's yeah. giving. It's giving like we ourselves. So yeah. yeah. Yes. Thank you yes. so much for having so me. So thank too. you for being on the third episode of Sisters Runs. Thank you guys for sticking to your screen watching yeah. and i'm sure you've already liked and then bringing your comments and yes. remember to subscribe yes please do subscribe yes please. and then there is going to be a link below in our bow where you can click and then anonymously rant give us whatever it is that is disturbing you whatever it is that you want to talk about so we can talk about it here on the show you get to get yeah. people's views and perspectives over the issue that you are facing. So I still remain your extreme host, Star Ivy. You already know me now. Do I have to introduce myself again to you guys? Just do it. Just do it. Just for the sake of it. Just because of pride. I mean, let me know what my shoe that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Amy Mobom. You can call me your media girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Oh, please, before you go, um, okay. I'd like for you to share your Instagram handle and, you know, yeah. Okay, okay. Fever Williams, the relevant woman. Yeah, relevant like this, woman. You, you can, if you're following me, you'll see that we're actually friends yeah. with Sisters Rand and the rest like that. So you should follow please, me. Please, I want to be your friend. <laughs> you should not call baby me for you. See, she, we're actually friends. <laughs> that one, no. Okay, now you guys are making a question about one big video. <laughs> I ain't nothing, you know, guys. <laughs> no, you, and you're putting on six. <laughs> you know it's thrift. <laughs> you know me. You know me. You know me. All right, thank you guys. Love you all. Bye. 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 <laughs>